It is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is Monday, and it is a Maggie Holmes Monday, which works out really good because my How to Kill a Kit with Style for this next quarter is all Maggie Holmes. So it gives me an even more reason to use it and not hoard it, which was the whole purpose of actually making the kit based on a couple of Maggie Holmes collections. So I am starting with this circle paper. Well, it's not a circle paper. It is a swan paper that I had cut a circle out for a previous layout and I decided to keep it. And I'm glad I did because I am going to use it for uh, the basis of my layout today. Now, I also have this other paper that has basically kind of like a project life card of all the months, and I am going to put that behind. Now, I am going to cover up the bottom portion of it, so I did decide to tear that off and potentially use those months later on uh, in this kit, and if I don't, Oh, well, it's not a big deal. So I have three photos. This is my daughter and her friend. Uh, they came over and got ready at our house for the military ball uh, for Jay Rotsi. And so these are a couple of the photos we took. Of course, I took a ton. And when I went to go print photos, I said, okay, Julianne, pick, pick the photos you like. Because I had plenty, so she might as well pick the one she likes, right? So uh, these are the ones she picked. And I decided to kind of tuck them in the circle. Um, and I'm going to highlight the one of her and her friend with a scrap piece of... It's like a gold glitter uh, paper. And so I'm going to tuck them in there. Now... <laughs> I originally had planned to just tape the top layer. Instead, I accidentally taped the left-hand side, which really didn't work out very well for me. Um, so you can see me struggling, and finally I'm like, you know what? I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to get these pictures in here, and then I'm going to turn it back on, and we're going to do the embellishing. So that is where we're at. So at this point, I'm like, not exactly sure how I want to embellish this. I do know that in the ephemera packs that I have left, there are a couple of swans. Of course, they're Maggie Holmes, so I, I have some swans, right? Uh, so I thought I would grab two of the swans since there are two girls in the picture. Uh, I... I have this black one and then one that looks just like the one on the paper. Uh, I mean, one has a dark dress on and one has a light dress on. So we're just going to go with it. Nobody is actually the black swan um, of, of anything. That doesn't mean anything. And I hope that nobody looks at that and, and, and says anything like that. I think all swans are beautiful. So I am just going to go with that. <laughs> So I'm going to get those on there. I start pulling out a few things and I just start putting them on the top of the photo to the left where it's just them kicking up their, their high heels, which I think is super cute. Um, and so I'm like, okay, well, I'm liking all these pieces up here. So that's just going to be a cluster up there. I'm going to put my title down here on the bottom and it's just going to be cute. It's from the uh, Flourish sticker sheet. And since that is in gold, I feel like I need to get a little bit of gold elsewhere in, in this layout. So I grab a leaf and a heart. And I'm going to go through... I have quite a few of the... clear stickers from the Heritage Collection, which is the other collection in my kit. And so I want to get some of those on there. And I'm just looking at word phrases. I find this one that says life is lovely. And I thought that was perfect. 
And then I do feel like this bottom cluster down here needs to be like oomphed up a little bit. Like there's just not enough down there. So I'm going to find this kind of, I don't even know what it is. We're just going to call it a phrase sticker because it says, I want you to know how amazing you are. Um, so I thought that went well down there. So that's going to add to that cluster a little bit. And then I found another piece that says home. And I was like, oh, that's perfect because all these pictures are from our house. Now, this picture was in February. And so I did go ahead and circle the date before I forgot what it was. And then I decided to just make the tiniest little cluster up here at the top. It's just going to have a black and white floral and this white and gold heart. That's all that's going to go up there, but it's just enough. So I'm still struggling with this cluster down here at the bottom. I just feel like it needs one more thing that needs to go behind this word phrase and these swans. And I'm going to try several things. I really like this acetate floral, but it's just too big and it covers up too much of her dress and her. And since it is a fairly skinny uh, photo over there because it is just one, I, I don't want to cover up the photo too much. I want it to go on the background paper. So I'm digging through. I have like three extra little random ephemera containers that are for Maggie Holmes, which I think that I'm going to just combine into one. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And so I'm still looking. I'm going to try this pom-pom trim from Color Rush Studios. That's not going to make it either. Uh, it's a good color. I just I couldn't find the right spot for it. So eventually I'm going to find this sticker. And this sticker has a hummingbird with some florals. Well, I like the florals, but it's too big with the hummingbird. So I'm going to cut off the florals. And then <laughs> I want the florals to be upside down. They don't look upside down, but I want, according to the sticker, they're upside down because all of the paint by number uh, numbers are on top. And so they're upside down. So I have to go ahead and cut those off. And once I cut those off, it fits perfectly behind there. And I feel like it finishes off that cluster. So I'm just going to pop up this second swan a little bit. And funny enough, that's kind of the only dimension. And then I do go off screen and add Mill Ball, which uh, will be my title up there in the left upper hand corner. You can see it there. And then that is my layout. So make sure you check out the description box and uh, see what Sarah is doing today. And remember to wear your crown. And we'll see you next time. Bye.